Right now, a live look from the high country tonight. I want to show you Steamboat Springs. Snow will pick up through the night and stick around tomorrow as well. It's too much of a good thing when you get out into the back country. The Colorado Avalanche Information Center issuing an avalanche watch today for Aspen, Gunnison, and the Grand Mesa and northern San Juan zones. All ranges are under considerable avalanche danger. This comes after another deadly weekend. As always, Jamie Leary covering the high country for us. Jamie so said the state had two more fatalities, and search and rescue crews are so busy. And not only with avalanches, our interview today with the Summit County Rescue Group was interrupted due to a call about an injured cross-country skier. We briefly caught up with the rescue team at the trailhead where it was taking place. And while today's rescue will turn out with a positive end for this cross-country skier, the rescue group did talk to us about some of the trends they're seeing and why concerns for the remaining part of the season are still high. There is definitely interest in getting in the backcountry. Lots of people have different reasons for that. The Summit County Rescue Group is bracing for the next big avalanche. This season, deaths and accidents have occurred in every surrounding county. People are pushing the envelope and pushing, you know, pushing the edge of, of what's safe. On Saturday, a backcountry snowboarder in East Vale survived after being buried for 15 minutes with an avalung. On Sunday, a snowmobiler was killed near Rollins Pass when an avalanche buried him beneath his sled. And that same day, just north of Loveland Pass, a massive slide claimed the life of a solo backcountry snowboarder. There's also a theory that you're seeing the experienced folks push further into the backcountry to get away from the bigger crowds. And that may be contributing to the avalanche deaths with experienced skiers and boarders and snowmobilers. They have experience enough to get into the backcountry where avalanches happen. It's not beginners. It's not people that are just here on a, on a quick vacation. It's the local experts that are the ones that are getting caught. And across the U.S., the total number of avalanche fatalities as of today stands at 25 compared to 23 in all of last year. Experts say you can greatly reduce your chances of triggering or getting caught in an avalanche by sticking to slopes, at least for now, that are less than 30 degrees. Live in Frisco, Jamie Leary, CBS 4 Mountain Newsroom.